it's Maya, welcome back to Resident Drinker. Today I'm going to be talking and tasting some craft beers from London. Craft beer has been absolutely huge for the last few years and London is no exception. We have had a phenomenal amount of breweries open up and I thought I'd like to try some. I'm not a huge beer drinker I have to say, um, I will have it you know, every now and again, but I was really intrigued with a lot of the local craft distilleries kind of doing something really different with their beers. So with that in mind, I picked up a couple and I thought I would share them with you and taste them and give you my thoughts. So the first one that I wanted to try, it caught my eye, the label, and I think that's another thing about craft beer. They've got some amazing sort of designs and labels. They're really creative. Anyway, this one is um, from the Hackney Brewery. Hopefully you can um, see the label. Don't worry, I will put some um, product shots. The ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, sushi rice, sorachi, ace hops, green tea and yeast. So that was really interesting for me because I've never come across um, beer with sushi rice in it. This one off. And I have to be honest, I don't normally drink beer from a glass. I'm more of a bottle drinking type, so let's have a go. So that's the colour, pretty clear golden colour and it's got a nice nice smell to it wow that's really different um, it's obviously got that yeasty kind of barley hops going on but then there is kind of a nuttiness and that uh, actually like green tea that kind of you know I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like the brown rice sort of smell and flavour. Definitely drink that again. So that's the Hackney Brewery one with the green tea and sushi rice. From Broccoli Brewery and this is their summer ale. Uh, they describe this as a crisp, blonde, refreshing summer ale, cloche style, brewed using pilsner malt, gently bittered with German magnum, followed by a twist of Yamaka hops for a light floral finish. And I'm sorry, I didn't say how um, the ABV of this one is 6%. So this is 6% ABV, so apologies, I didn't say that. So this one is 4.2% um, ABV. This is from, as it says, the Broccoli Brewery. So the colour is quite different. This one is, is much paler, I would say. And the smell is much more reminiscent of a blonde... Um, kind of beer that you'd expect. It's quite fruity and it has got that sort of bitterness at the back that you'd expect. Mm, I like it. It's really light. Um, it's definitely would be a nice drink to have in the summer as it says. So this is fresh, fry, fresh, I can't speak. I've had two beers. Fresh and feisty, our twist on an American amber ale. It's aromatic, uplifting, five malts ming mingled for a rich, complex flavour. Named after the Ephra River, which now flows beneath urban Brixton. This ale is perfect for deep thirst. Okay, and this one, I'm just trying to see where the ABV, it's 4.5, this one. So, again, a little bit more um, than the... Broccoli Brewery, but not as much as the, the Hackney one. Right. right, that one got a bit excited coming out. Wow, the colour of that, look at it. Now that is a proper sort of ale. That's what I think of when I think of ales, that they should be that sort of colour. Right, so let's have a taste. Oh, the smell's amazing. Wow, it's like, I really wasn't expecting that. It's got such a distinct aroma it's like really there's yeastiness but there's a fruitiness in there i'm quite excited to taste it now that is good wow i'm not an i have to say not an ale drinker not a huge beer drinker i'm not an expert on craft beer at all but i just thought let me find a few that would be interesting to try and the smell is great and the flavour is lovely, it's, it's got that earthiness, but it's really got quite a nice clean finish too, which is quite nice. So and that's that one, so that's a, the Brixton Brewery one, and the Ephra Ale. This one is from the London Beer Factory, and this one is London Bohemia. 
and I'll read you what it says. So bohemianism is the practice of an unconventional lifestyle. The use of the word first appeared in the 19th century to describe marginalized artists expression, expressing, yeah, you can tell I've had a few now, expressing unorthodox social views much more much like our pilsner they were typically progressive original and had a penchant for the penny farthings well i didn't know that um so yeah so let's try this one beer with character so i'm expecting this to be quite interesting with the whole kind of um bohemia aspect to it so you can oh see so you can't you can't um you can't make these things up can you that was my fault, it's a bit too, I was a little bit too um, shaky shaky with it, obviously. So anyway, oh, look at all the beer that I've wasted. Anyway, I've got wet hands now. Okay, let's start with the smell. Very light aroma. You can see the color, it's kind of quite cloudy. Let's have a taste. Oh, that's quite interesting. It's a little bit sweet, actually, but not in a bad way. I think in comparison to the others that have that bitterness, this is quite sweet, so it doesn't have, maybe it's not sweet, it just doesn't have that bitterness, but really nice, very earthy as well, I like that one. The final one that I have, last but not least, is this one, it's the table beer from the Colonel Brewery, and it is 3.2% ABV, and it's description just says bottle conditioned beer store upright pour gently if you prefer to leave the yeast sediment inside the bottle um so we'll try this one see. again it's quite cloudy like the uh, london bohemia one from the uh, london beer factory so again i can see that so that's this one again it's got an amazing i kind of want to say passion fruit but it's, it's kind of like passion fruit, but something floral as well. Just quite a mix of something floral, but the smell, that kind of passion fruit smell, but not the sweetness. There's no sweet. I mean, it, it's sort of marketed as a table beer, something that's kind of pretty straightforward. And I think actually that kind of belies how complex it really is, because the aroma is really different on this, really different. And it's really fruity. I like it. I think it's quite nice. I, I would definitely drink it again. So, we have tried five craft beers from London Brewery. Found this one really interesting. Definitely worth investigating and sort of trying out, I think, some of theirs. Um, these two, I'd say, are really good for easy drinking. If you want to have some different sort of beers, if you're having a barbecue, both have very... Um, subtle floral hints to it which I wasn't expecting I have to say I mean this is sold as a table beer but I think actually it's, it's got it's got really really good sort of flavors it's not plain it's not boring which unfortunately I think the label maybe might kind of make you think but these two definitely quite interesting and really full of flavor so I hope I hope that you enjoyed that I certainly did it was something new for me and I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you soon. Cheers.